Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the final Burn Bar Quiz of the year. Um, yeah, and uh, my last one it will be. So that's oh, quite surreal. Yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, we'll get started. I think it's probably about the right time. So um, as you can see, uh, who was the superstar friend of the show this week? Uh, it was, of course, none other than Ben Shepherd, everyone's favourite television TV show. No, no. And uh, not that much. Okay, so first round today is, of course, a mixed round, uh, as it always is. Uh, Hugo, do you want to explain how the crown works? That's a really good point. Well, the next round works as follows. Now, I'm seeing we have a lot of questions. I've got some more people who have questions together. That way, you don't just get a lot of questions. Yes, so, my question is, all the answers are going to be technical. What does that mean? Thank you very much. Okay, so, question number one is, Complete the Beach Boys subtitle, God Only Blank. Complete the Beach Boys subtitle, God Only Blank. No one, no one Question number two is what emoji is commonly used to draw attention to a situation, especially one involving drama or interpersonal tension? At what part of a river is a delta tend to form?
Okay, question number four. What can you do to a catalog a website and a leafy branch? What can you do to a catalog a website and a leafy branch? Number five. Which word with elementary French origins can mean trendy or stylish? Which word with elementary French origins can mean trendy and stylish? Question number six. What part of the mouth do you touch your top teeth to to make an F sound? What part of the mouth do you touch your top teeth to to make an F sound? Question number seven. What four letter word when said twice has the same meaning as cheers? What four letter word when said twice has the same meaning as cheers?
Question number eight. What three letters tend to end comparative adjectives when the stem adjective ends in a Y? For example, early or funny. What three letters tend to end comparative adjectives when the stem adjective ends in a Y? For example, early or funny. Okay, question number nine. What word used to refer to a big night out is also the first syllable of a word commonly associated with Ian Blyton to refer to a large quantity of food or drink? I'm not going to read that one. Though. Okay, and question number 10, of course, is what is the link? So what links those previous elements together as a common theme and what is it? Okay, just quickly go through the things again. Uh, okay, so question number one could be the Beach Boys song title. Question number two, what is the emoji uh, referred to there? Uh, question number three, what part of the river does a delta tend to form? Question number four, what can we do to a catalog, a website, and a leafy branch? Question number five, which word with evidently French origins can mean trendy and stylish? What part of the mouth do you touch your top teeth? Make an F sound. What four letter word when said twice has the same meaning as cheers? Uh, what three letters tend to end comparative adjectives when the stem adjective ends in a Y? Uh, and what word is to refer to a big night out as also the first symbol of a word commonly associated with the lighting? And what's the word? There we go. So that's that is round number one. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, round number two is, of course, superb superlatives. Um, alternative title, of course, smells like contention. Uh, if you want to explain what the round is, is this one? Of course, yeah, it's a classic anime round, thank you very much. We're going to shoot the questions, and then we'll do all the most fun. Thank you, Hugo. Question number one. 
What is the world's best selling book? What is the world's best selling book? Okay, question number two. Aside from humans, what is the most dangerous animal in the world? Aside from humans, what is the most dangerous animal in the world? And of course, we have got an answer here. You might disagree with us, um, but this is the answer that we have. And obviously, if you get a different answer to that, that's zero marks. So, uh, we will not be defining anything else other than what you see on the uh, big screen. So, just make me what you will. That's up for you to decide. So give us a call. Okay, question number three. What is the fastest marine mammal? No, animal. What is the fastest marine animal? Animal there. That was his ball. Question number four. In 2020, what was the most common university degree, along with related courses, in the UK? So in 2020, what was the most common university degree, along with related courses, in the UK?
Okay, question number five. What was the most popular name for baby boys in England throughout the first half of the 20th century? Four US presidents have also had this first name. What was the first what was the most popular name for baby boys in England throughout the first half of the 20th century? Four US presidents have also had this first name. Okay, question number six. Name two of the three films that have won the most Oscars. Name two of the three films that have won the most Oscars. Okay, question number seven. With more than 257,000 islands, which country has the most islands? With more than 257,000 islands, which country has the most islands? Okay, question number eight. According to the most fact-checking sites, which woman has been the most successful female artist in terms of record sales? According to most fact-checking sites, which woman has been the most successful female artist in terms of record sales?
Okay, question number nine. What is the most common eye color worldwide? What is the most common eye color worldwide? Okay, and finally, question number 10, which is the most sparsely populated country in the world? Its capital is Windhoek. Windhoek. Let's go with that. Uh, so go. Get on again. Okay, we'll probably go through the board again. Uh, let's have a look. Back to one. So, what is the world's best selling book? Aside from humans, what is the most dangerous animal in the world? What is the fastest marine animal? In 2020, what was the most common university degree in the UK? What was the most popular name for baby boys in England throughout the first half of the 20th century? Name two of the three films that have won the most Oscars, with more than 257,000 islands, which country has the most? According to the most fact checking sites, which woman has been the most successful female artist in terms of record sales? What is the most common icon worldwide? And which is the most sparsely populated country in the world? There we go. That's right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to go on a quick break. Uh, and then we'll have a super round of
Okay, so I'm sure you're all wondering uh, what this mystery graph showed. Does anyone have any suggestions for the show? Any ideas? What is it? Tell me anyway. Yeah, that's wrong, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Uh, it was a great guess, yeah, but actually, um, this was the viewer ratings of every Doctor Who episode. It's Doctor Who, of course, 26 seasons. What a long time. So anyway, on to round three. Uh, and round three is, of course, Anagraphabet. So a classic burn quiz round. So Anagraphabet, uh, we're going to show you uh, some questions. For every question, uh, it will be a, an anagram of the previous answer question with a letter added on. So um, the first question is two letters, two letters long. The um, second answer is three, third answer four, so on. And it'll always be an anagram of the previous one with a letter added on. So let's get started. Question number one, what is the chemical symbol for radium? Yes. Okay, question number two. Of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, what is the red horse rider thought to represent? Of the four horsemen of the apocalypse, what is the red horse rider thought to represent? Okay, question number three. What is the primary unit of English electoral geography and tends to be represented by elected councillors? What is the primary unit of English electoral geography and tends to be represented by elected councillors?
Okay, so question number four. Fill in the blank in the name of the indie singer-songwriter Badly Blank Boy. Fill in the blank in the name of the indie singer-songwriter Badly Blank Boy. Okay, question number five. What is the why is the surname of the longest serving active member of the Hill Beach Entertainment Committee who has served his college for three years, one as social secretary, and who will be sorely missed when he leaves? Okay, question number six. In the name of the 2011 ballet themed thriller film starring Natalie Portman and replace the color with the color of Poe from the Teletubbies. <laughs> Take the name of the 2011 ballet themed thriller film starring Natalie Portman and replace the color with the color of Poe from the Teletubbies. Yeah.
the solution. How might you describe a quiz question when you've written down the solution? How might you describe a quiz question when you have written down the solution? Okay, question number eight. What were the six teams Bolton and Wickham in the names of two football teams? What were the six teams Bolton and Wickham in the name of two football teams? Okay, question number nine. What profession is shared by Sophie Rayworth, Mary Nightingale, and Fatima Manji? What profession is shared by Sophie Rayworth, Mary Nightingale, and Fatima Manji? Okay, 
which is number 10, from the Bishop of this round. On a traditional, oh, it's a two-parter. On a traditional TV remote control, what does the button mark with two triangles pointing to the left do? On a traditional TV remote control, what does the button mark with two triangles pointing to the left do? Both answers put together will form the anagram of so 10A and 10B. We'll come to 10B in a second. Okay, and part two of that question, 10B, uh, is in Microsoft Paint, what does the button with a pink keyboard do? In Microsoft Paint, what does the button with a pink keyboard do? Okay, so we'll probably run through those again. Uh, question number one, what is the chemical symbol for radium? Question number two, of the four horse of the Republic, what is the red horse red of to represent? Question number three, what is the primary unit of English electrography and hence represented by electric counselors? Question number four, fill in the blank and in the name of the Indian singer songwriter Badly Blank Boy. Question number five, what is the surname of the longest serving active member of the Hillby Entertainment Committee? Question number six, take the name of the 2011 Viking Flipper and also Natalie Pullman and replace the colour with the colour of Poe from the 30 Summies. Question number seven, how might you describe it? Call this question, but you wouldn't have a solution. Question number eight, what one sixteen Bolton and Wickham in the name of the two football teams? Question number nine, what profession is shared by Sophie Ray with Mary Nightingale and Fatima Manji? Question number 10A, on a traditional TV remote control, what does the must button mark with two triangles point to the left do? And B, in Microsoft Paint, what does the button with a pink cuboid do? <laughs> uh, still round number four. This is of course the specialist round. So if you get the best team name, uh, you'll get to choose a specialist round for next week. Uh, last time, Death in Paradise was chosen, so we have fulfilled that, and it is a Death in Paradise round for you all. So without further ado, let's quickly get on to the round. Question number one is. In Paradise, set on the fictional island of Saint Marie, the storm's largely on which Caribbean overseas department of France?
Okay, question number two. The main town on the Isle of Saint Marie is Honoré. Reference to Saint Honoré, the Caribbean setting of which Agatha Christie novel? The main town on the island of Saint Marie is Honoré. A reference to Saint Honoré, the Caribbean setting of which Agatha Christie novel? So just give it a guess, you know? see what happens. Question number three. Annie John Jules, who plays Dwayne Myers in the series, also played Cat, a humanoid descendant of Dave Lister's pet cat in which sci fi sitcom? Danny John Jules, who plays Dwayne Myers in the series, also played Cat, a humanoid descendant of Dave Lister's pet cat in which sci fi sitcom? Okay, question number four. The main text of the series, a role which has now been held by four different people, holds the rank of DI. What does DI stand for? The main detective of the series, a role which has now been held by four different people, holds the rank of DI. What does DI stand for? Question number five, one of said DIs is Jack Mooney. The same actor plays Father Dougal Maguire in Father Ted and Cousin Eamon in Derry Girls. Who is this actor? One of said DIs is Jack Mooney. The same actor plays Father Dougal Maguire in Father Ted and Cousin Eamon in Derry Girls. Who is this actor? <laughs>
Question number six. The theme song is an instrumental version of the 1960s Jamaican song, You're Wondering Now. This song has also been covered in the deluxe version of which Amy Winehouse album? Okay, question number seven. Ben Miller, another of the main detectives, in a double act with Chris Arm with Alexander Armstrong. <laughs> Which British university did they both attend? Ben Miller, another of the main detectives, was in a double act with Alexander Armstrong. Which British university did they both attend? <laughs> Okay, question number eight. In America and Canada, Second Paradise is broadcast on a PBS channel. What does PBS stand for? In America and Canada, Second Paradise is broadcast on a PBS channel. What does PBS stand for? Okay, question number nine. Ralph Little, who plays the current main detective, is a former semi professional football player. One of the teams he played for was Edgware Town in the Isthmian in the Isthmian League. Thank you, thank you. How many times did the team in the Isthmian League have to be promoted to play in the Premier League? Thank you, sir. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.
question number 10, the final question for this round is, Flynn Paradise is a co-production between the cricket production company and one based in France. I think France shares a border with Italy. Italy has Florence inside of it. Florence is the setting for some of the book by Ian Forster. What is the title of the five word, no? What is the five word title of that book? What is the five word title of that book?
So, uh, without further ado, we've got the final round of the quiz tonight, which is, of course, that's not true. Um, <laughs> apparently, it is the wipeout round. They know what's said there. Um, so, the wipeout round works is it will show you 10 uh, generalized questions. How there's a twist, because if you get a single one of those questions wrong, then that will be zero points for the whole round. So, you'll be very confident with your answer because if zero, one mark that's wrong will be zero points for the whole round. So, be very careful. Uh, and she goes taking this round. So, uh, uh, we have taken uh, the liberty of asking some of the members of the entertainment committee to supply some questions. Um, you may not know it, they are, but we will tell you to be aware of them and we'll be concerned. Is there a real question with us now? Amazing. Okay, so let's, let's get started, I guess. So, um, question number one. This is by uh, Joseph Cooper. Joseph Cooper. Um, the, the man himself. So, I was dancing a tango with Juliet in Lima. What month was it? Uh, I was dancing a tango with Juliet in Lima. What month was it? Uh, a classically uh, cryptic question from uh, the quiz master himself. Question number two. Uh, this one is by. Uh, this is by John Hart, um, who is the secretary and vice president of Hillby. Uh, Manchester Liverpool Road Station, the original Manchester terminus of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, now houses part of which museum? Uh, Manchester Liverpool Road Station, the original Manchester terminus of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, now houses part of which museum? <laughs> Okay, question number three. Uh, this was also by Rashad, of course. Uh, in Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, episode three, how many lightsabers does General Grievous wield in his fight with only one on an utter power? In Star Wars, Revenge of the Sith, episode three, how many lightsabers does General Grievous wield in his fight with only one on utter power? Okay, question number four is by Hugo Bishop. Uh, which group yesterday became the largest religious denomination in Britain to allow same sex marriage? Which group yesterday became the largest religious denomination in Britain to allow same sex marriage?
<laughs> okay, question number five. What is the fifth largest country in the world? I think this one was written by me, Trenton. Uh, what is the fifth largest country in the world? So give that one some thought. Okay, question number six, an olive, a fruitful vegetable, uh, by, of course, Harvey Lamb, uh, Brewer's own secretary, and help us a little please, Harvey Lamb. Okay, so question number seven is, of course, what is the name of the host in the world famous Wii Party? What is the name of the host in the world famous Wii Party at Wii Party? And of course, it is written by none other than Bonnie Powell, current Vice President of Hillby. Thank you very much. Thank you, Daffy, uh, for being a friend of the show. Uh, we hope you enjoyed the quiz. Okay, question number eight. Roger Moore, famous friend of the show, has appeared as 007 in how many Bond movies? Roger Moore, famous friend of the show, has appeared as 007 in how many Bond movies? And this was, of course, written by the friend of the show, Harry Lamb.
Okay, so question number nine is, of course, what time did Claypath Deli close today? What time did friend of the show, Claypath Deli, close today? And of course, written by Harvey Lamb. Maybe we'll say yes. I was that. Okay, and the final question of this quiz of this round is, of course, who became chairman of the Palestinian Liberation Organization in 1959? And this is from all of the friends of the show. Enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to quickly run those questions again. Uh, here we go. So, question number one, I was dancing tango Juliet in Lima. What month was it? Question number two, Manchester Liverpool Road Station, the original Manchester Tunnel to Liverpool and the Manchester Railway now houses part of which museum? Question number three, in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, episode three, how many lies did to General Grievous wield in his fight with the overworld on utter power? Question number four, which group yesterday became the largest religious denomination in Britain to allow same sex marriage? Question number five, what is the fifth largest country in the world? Question number six, an olive, fruit or vegetable? Question number seven, what is the name of the host in the world famous Wii Party? Question number eight, Roger Moore, famous friend of the show, has appeared as 007 in how many Bond movies? Question number nine, what time did Clay Bath Deli close today? And question number 10, who became chairman of the Palestinian Liberation Organization, PLO, in 1969?
Okay, so we're going to show you the answers to the verb markers now. Uh, and we'll run through them. So first of all, it's round one, the links round, so we'll put that now. Round one is, of course, the links. So complete the Beach Boys song title, God Only Blank. That is, of course, God Only Knows. God Only Knows. Question number two, what emoji is commonly used to draw attention to a situation? That is, of course, eyes. Eyes is the answer there. Question number three, at what part of the river is a delta tends to form? That is, the mouth of a river. Question number four, what can you do to a catalog, a website, and a leafy branch? Of course, you can browse it. You can browse all three of those things. So question number five, which word with evidently French origins can mean trendy and stylish? That is chic. Question number six, what part of the mouth do you touch your top? That is your lip. Your lip is what you use there. Question number seven, what four letter word when said twice has the same meaning as cheers? Skin. Skin means that. Question number eight, what three letters tend to end comparative adjectives when the stem adjective ends in a Y? I E R. I E R, we were before that. Ear. Question number nine. What word used to refer to a big night owl is also the first syllable of a word commonly associated with Ian Blyton? Lash. We're looking for lash there. Lash is the answer to question number nine. And what could that link be? What could be the link to those previously nine answers? Well, it's part of the face. Parts of the French people there. So you've got parts of the French that's a point for you there. Round number two. Round number two is superlative. superlative. And what were the answers? So, question number one What is the world's best selling book? It's the Bible, of course. The Bible is what you've got there. Question number two Aside from, aside from humans, what is the most famous animal in the world? A controversial question. I'm sure the controversial answer, but it is, of course, mosquito. The mosquito is very well done. Question number three, what is the fast growing mammal? Animal, not mammal. That is a sailfish, very much not a mammal, so a sailfish, what you can call that, sailfish. Question number four, in 2020, what was the most commonly wrote in Greek? Business. Business is what you can Question number five, what was the most popular name for baby in the first half of the 20th century? That was John. That was John. Question number six, Name two of the three films that won the most Oscars. Well, you could have had two of either Titanic, Ben Hur, or Lord of the Rings, Return of the King. Question number seven With more than 250,000 islands, which country has the most islands? Sweden. Yeah, I was surprised too. I say Indonesia, but apparently it's Sweden. So Sweden is the answer there. Question number eight According to the most fat human sites, which woman is the most fat human sites? Madonna. Madonna is the answer there. So if you were a Madonna, well done. If you didn't remember Madonna, I'm so, so sorry. I'm sure that it will be fine in the end. Uh, question number nine. What is the most common eye color worldwide? Well, that's brown, of course. Brown eyes. Brown eyes are all done there. And question number ten. What is the most sparsely populous country in the world? Namibia. Namibia. If you've got Namibia, that's a mark. Well, round three, I guess round three and round the best, what are the answers? So question number one, what is the chemical symbol for radium? RA. RA, the first two letters of radium, a classic answer there. Question number two, of the four horsemen in the pocket, what is the red horse royal thought to represent? War. What you are, so an anagram of the previous one, the letter added, that was a W, and that is war. Question number three, what is the primary unit of English electoral geography? Or ward. A ward is the answer there, very well if you got that. Question number four. In the blank of this indie singer songwriter, badly drawn boy, badly drawn boy, to answer that's a draw. Question number five if you got this very well, bad name, how you got this? Um, it is my surname, it's Rawdon, so you got that very well. Done. I don't know, I don't know about that. Um, anyway, question number six, um, take the name of the 2011 Valley thriller film, it had pose color. Well, you've got Red Swan, of course. Red Swan, if you've got Red Swan, work very well done there. Question number seven, how might you describe a quiz question when you've written down a solution? Well, you've answered it. You've answered it. So answer is the answer there. Question number seven. Question number eight, what words excuse Bolton and Wickham? Wanderers. The football fans there might have had an advantage. Question number nine, what profession is shared by the sofa bread with Mary Nightingale and Fatima Manji? They're all newsreaders. If you peruse your news, you might know it. Question number 10, A, on a traditional TV remote control, what does the button mark with which one of us points to the left do? 
and Christian tell me and Marcus are playing what is the popular thing keyboard do well. Rewind, flash arrays. No half points. No half points. So I want both those on opposite. Rewind and arrays. You've got both loaded with single points. Thank you. Question number round number four uh, is a different paradise round. Uh, if you watch it from paradise before this, you might be in a bit of an advantage. Uh, so, Death of Paradise, set on the fictional island, is filmed largely on Guadeloupe. Guadeloupe in the Caribbean is where it was filmed. Question number two the main town of the island of Saint Marie is on array. Which identification of refers to it? It's a Caribbean mystery. The clues in the title, the clues in the title, if you knew what I was you might have a chance to see. Question number three Danny Don Jules, who plays Dwayne Myers in the series, and Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. He watched Red Dwarf. Uh, question number four, the main detective of the series uh, has a DI as a, as a rank. That stands for Detective Inspector. Yeah. Uh, question number five, uh, the actor that plays DI Jack Mooney is none other than Ad Adlo Hanlon. Adlo Hanlon, who also plays Dougal McGuire in Barlow Tale. So very well done, John. Question number six, uh, a theme song um, has been covered in the deluxe version of Back to Black. A classic in the warehouse album there, so if you go back to black, that's a point. Question number seven, Ben Miller um, and Alexander Armstrong both attended Cambridge. Of course they did. Cambridge University where they both attended, so if you got that, that's a point. Question number eight, in America and Canada, Death in Paris is broadcast on PBS. PBS stands for Public Broadcasting System. On there, so if you got all three of those words, very well done, that's a point. Um, question number nine, uh, Ralph Little, uh, is a professional football player. Uh, it's not a system, it's service. We're going to amend the answer there. If you put a system zero points, if you put service as one point, apologies there, it's service. Service is the last word there. Uh, question number nine How many times have the team in the Isthmian League have been promoted? They have been promoted to Premier League six times. Quite a way below Premier League. If you've got six, very well done. That's a tricky one. And question 10, of course, a classic. The last question, the second to last round. If you've been following the quiz in recent weeks, you'll know the answer to this one. It's, of course, a room with a view. A room with a view is the answer there. So very well, let me go that one. And the final round is, of course, the wipeout, not the link. So the wipeout round. Question number one. I was dancing a tango with Juliet in Lima. What month was it? November. It was November. November was the month there. Question number two, uh, Manchester Liverpool Road Station, the original Manchester Terminus, now houses part of the Museum of Science Industry. Impressive to hear that one, Sam. Impressive. Question number three, in Star Wars Revenge of the Sith, uh, Little Grievous fights with four lightsabers. Four lightsabers. You found a Star Wars. There you go. Question number four, which group yesterday became uh, the largest Christian nation in Britain to allow same sex marriage? That was the Methodist Church. If you risk the Methodist Church, nice. Well done. Question number five. What is the fifth largest country in the world? It's Brazil. It's Brazil. So there you go. An olive, the fruit or a vegetable harvey. What is an olive? Can you answer the question? It's Brazil. A fruit, there you go. A fruit is the answer to that question. Question number seven, what is the name of the host in the world famous Wii Party? It's Party Phil! Of course! Alliterative, Party Phil! Well, I thought that one. I do everything today, it's fine. Question number eight, uh, Rose Moore, famous friend of the show, has appeared in 007 in how many Bond movies? Seven Bond movies, so we're we'll not going to pick one. Uh, I'm not going to name the show, can you name them? He can't name them, Harvey, can you name them? None of us can name them, but seven is the answer, so what well, gonna do that one? Question number nine, what time did Clay Park Valley close today? I mean, any suggestions? Everyone's too cautious to say. Five, five p.m. Any advance on five? Oh, well, I've got a range of answers, so we'll see what it is. It is, of course, four p.m. Sorry to hear five, I'm really sorry to hear that. It was, in fact, four p.m. Uh, and question number 10, final question of the quiz, final question of the term. 
He then became chairman of the Palestinian Liberation Organization in 1969, but of course, it was none other than Yasser Arafat. Very little of quiz, you might remember the answer, uh, Yasser Arafat in past quizzes. Quizzes gone bon, so if you did, that might be the hint. So there you go. So if you add up the scores now, uh, write your team names to the top, remember your team names, uh, then we'll have someone, Hugo in fact, will come around and collect your scores and your team names to assess who wins best team name and who wins the best score in the quiz today. Good luck. Good luck.